Okay, so now we're going to move on to derivatives. This is the this is the bread and butter of this course, okay, taking derivatives. So as a real brief refresher, what's a derivative? It's basically the slope of a curve or a line at one particular point, so the instantaneous slope. So you might remember what's the slope? Well, if you've got a figure with like, uh, you know, an x-axis and a y-axis, and you go from this point A to this point B, the slope is the measure of rise over run, okay? So if this is at a height of 2 and this is at a height of, say, 1, then the rise is we've gone down 1, so let's say negative 1. And let's say this is at 1 half. And this looks like it's about 3. So the distance we've traveled is 2 and a half. And so that's the slope of this guy here, okay? Now, what if we've got something that's a curve like this? All right, so this, you know, we could calculate the point, the distance between, say, A and B, but that corresponds to something that's not really on this figure, all right? So the derivative is, let's say the derivative of this curve is going to be different at every point because uh, this thing, the, the slope is changing at this point. And so what do I mean when I say the instantaneous, deriv uh, the instantaneous slope? Well, this slope here between A and B of this curve is, you know, it's, it's not right. If we wanted to get it more right, we could calculate the slope between A and a point that's closer to A. So we could move this over to say here, we'll call this B prime. And if we draw a line between those two, that's closer to the slope at this exact point. But that's still not exactly right. We gotta go even closer. B double prime. And now we're actually getting something that looks pretty close to the slope at exactly this point here. That's what we're really interested in, okay? What we want is essentially the slope of a line that just touches the curve at that point, okay? So we want something that is like glancing off right at point A. Here, I need to get a little more space to draw. And that will be the derivative at point A. So for example, if we've got this, if we want to find the derivative at that point right there, we need to find the slope of a point that is like just tangent, just touching it right at that point A. X. And we could calc if we could calculate the slope of that point, of that line, you know, we would know the derivative, the value of the derivative at this point right there. Okay? So that's graphically how you do it. You want to find the tangency point or the tangent line. And that is just a way of saying the line that's like just glancing off of it. And we're going to do that a lot in this course, but you know, we're also going to very often and perhaps more often use just math to find the tangency point and to find the derivative. And so that's what's going to be covered in the next video.